A Fox urgent now, a convicted killer, minutes away right now from execution, but a court has just stepped in to stop it. Prison officials say they had already delivered Warren Hill's last meal when the ruling came down. His lawyers claim Hill's IQ is so low it would be unconstitutional to put him to death. And three experts who testified that he is competent to, for execution now say they were wrong. John Roberts live at the prison in Jackson, Georgia. John, where, where do things stand now? We are just trying to figure all of that out, Shep. We know that uh, the Supreme Court, about a half an hour ago, refused to grant a stay of execution, said that the execution basically could go ahead. And then with about 20 minutes left, we heard from uh, Brian Kammer, who was Warren Lee Hill's attorney, saying that uh, a stay was granted, a temporary stay granted, by both the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals, based in Atlanta, Georgia, and the Georgia Court of Appeals. At the very last minute, uh, the reason why the stay, and it was a temporary one, was granted by the Georgia Court of Appeals was because uh, they want to look into the lethal injection process here in Georgia. It was recently changed from a three-drug combination to a single-drug combination. The 11th Circuit Court of Appeals wants to hear some new evidence, and that new evidence, as you alluded to, is the three medical professionals, two psychiatrists and a psychologist who examined Hill back in the year 2000, who then said that they believed he was, in the parlance of the day, not mentally retarded. Last Thursday, those three same doctors came out and said they made a mistake, that back in 2000 they did not have all the facts, they did not have the experience. According to one, Dr. Thomas Satchi, he said, my judgment that Mr. Hill did not meet the criteria for mild mental retardation was in error going on to say that he has an IQ of approximately 70. So the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals wants a lower court to look into all of this new evidence. In the steps of the Georgia Capitol today, a number of Hill supporters held a press conference to say that should he be executed, it would definitely be a miscarriage of justice. Rita Young is with All About Developmental Disabilities. Here's what she said. We believe that any, putting anyone to death who has an intellectual disability is an injustice. The Supreme Court has, made, uh, has given a categorical exemption to individuals who have intellectual disabilities to exempt them from the death penalty. So to execute anyone that has a known IQ of 70 would be a miscarriage of justice. Now, this is the second time that it has come down to the wire for Warren Lee Hill. Last summer, he was with two hour, within two hours of being executed when his stay was issued. This time, Shep, he was just 20 minutes away. John, it was a Supreme Court ruling some years ago that put this in the spotlight, right? It was. It was a case called Atkins v. Virginia, decided in 2002. The Supreme Court of the United States ruled that it would be unconstitutional, a violation of the Eighth Amendment protections against cruel and unusual punishment to put to death someone who was, quote, mentally retarded. It looks like, at least for the night, Shep, this may be off. We're still trying to nail that down. We'll get back to you a little bit later on this hour. John Roberts with continuing coverage from Georgia.